New video allegedly captures the intense moments leading up to Friday's shooting, which appears to be recorded by the man who fired the gun. Now, we do want to warn you, some of what you're about to see and hear may be disturbing. 4 News Now's Hunter Bertram shows us exclusive video of that arrest. In that live stream posted to YouTube, it shows a man engaging with multiple people at the intersection leading up to that shooting on Friday night. We want to warn you that the footage you're about to see can be sensitive for young viewers. Drop the rock! Drop the rock! Moments after that command, two gunshots can be heard in the video. Sir, it was self-defense. I did, I did, I dropped it. I'm not. That was self-defense, sir. In another video obtained by 4 News Now, it shows the arrest of the suspect following the shooting. In that same video, a victim lies on the ground, surrounded by paramedics. Police have not released the name of the victim or their current condition. In the YouTube live stream, it shows a man filming and confronting others in the area. We asked Spokane police if they can confirm whether this video belongs to the suspect or if it's being used as evidence in the Friday shooting investigation. They told us they cannot comment or confirm during an open investigation. The millimeter of an inch, what it went through the car. Camille and her 16-year-old daughter were driving on North Division Street when their car was then hit by a bullet. People were kind of scattered around 7-Eleven and a couple of people jumped the fence and I was like, oh, what's going on? And then all of a sudden the guy with a camera stick and a gun started walking backwards down Division. My back window got hit and shattered. Right now, we do know a 36-year-old man named Hoyt Webb was detained. He is believed to be the suspect. Webb was booked into Spokane County Jail for first-degree assault. He's being held on a $75,000 bail. It's expected he'll make his first appearance in court on Monday at the Spokane County Courthouse. Uh, looking around because I had my daughter in my car, so I <laughs> wanted to make sure it didn't go anywhere and it didn't hit the front window, so I was like, okay. And then I was like, I need to get off this road. I also spoke with others at the scene that you. were seen in the video who described that same man in the live stream filming others in the area was also acting hostile and harassing homeless on the streets. We'll have more updates on KXLY.com as they come available. In studio, Hunter Bertram, 4 News Now.